Talk about the names and I did it. What Chris is gonna do, he's gonna grab the bar with his hands about shoulder width apart. Alright? Now, we talked about supination. Whoa, 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 what's that going on? I always do it this way. Oh wow. Your your right shoulder ever hurt? No. Really? So he's gonna grab hit the grab the bar with hands even, not with hand mixed. Anybody whose coaches have you do hands mixed? Yes, you your coaches, man, you should fire your coaches. Okay? I don't think you have any control of that. But when we look at when we look at this movement, okay, so what Chris is gonna do, he's gonna sit his hips back, his hands are shoulder width apart. He's gonna try to get to a point where he is gonna to have to force this to stay flat. If you go lower, go lower. Anybody see the rounding starts to happen down here? We don't want that, so stand all the back up, reset. Okay, reset, just stand up and reset, okay? It helps to unlock the knees a little bit, so reach your butt back and you shove, yeah, and you shove it in the mouth's face. There we go, okay? Now, he gets in this position, there's a couple things that would actually be a little bit better. If he bends his knees just a little bit more, and then really shift back, yep. So we're trying to create this position where it's creating a little bit of challenge to keep that back flat. So he's got those erectors that are locked in. They're holding onto that position, right? Because he's not trying to flex. He's trying to resist flexion here. Now, he's gonna pick his head up. All he's gonna do is initiate from the shoulder blades, right? Because we talked about shoulder extension last week. He's gonna pull, starting with his shoulder blades, and then he's gonna pull that bar into his belly button. So basically what we get is we get a little internal rotation here at the uterus. We get extension at the shoulder, and now that lat is really contracting all the way down to his lumbar spine, kind of keeping that stable. So go ahead and do a couple reps for us. Okay? Now, there it is. The one thing people like to kind of do is they start to stand up more each rep. I just had to do each rep, I kind of stand up, just purposely screw it up for you. Okay? Then he kind of brings his chest up more and more. We don't want to do this. Why? Because now we're either going to start extending from our spine, or now all of a sudden we decrease that range of motion so we don't get as much movement out of our lats. All right? The other thing that's happening here, go ahead and let's do like five more reps. We talked about the traps, right? So this is why we pulled this one last, right? So when we look at his shoulder blades, not only are they coming back and down, but that trap's pulling him towards the middle. Let's go another five. So now we're stabilizing that thoracic spine, we're stabilizing the lumbar spine, and we're working the lat and the trap in order to create that stability, okay? And put more of that. Now, what is the one thing we talked about last week when we talked about the inverted row, right? Everybody remember these are called, right? Supination, like you're holding a cup of soup. Pronation, I don't know why this is pro, I don't have like a fun acronym or like remembrance of that one. But, supination, holding a cup of soup, pronation, hands down. So, he did a pronated grip. When we talked about that supination, what happens? We create a little extra length and we start to externally rotate that humerus. So, what Chris is gonna do is he's just gonna switch his grip around. He might have to go a little bit more narrow. But, go ahead, let's go. He's gonna shoot the hips back. Let's go a little bit more, sit the air right there. And he's gonna pull, same thing, shoulder blades back, squeezing back and down, and contracting those lats. Right? Bless you. How do we then make this harder, right? We talked a little bit about it with the inverted row last week. If you haven't watched the videos, I put them all on LMS from last week. There's one that's like really dubbed over, especially the one that actually kind of correlates to this one because my mic packed it off last week. But, range of motion. The longer we get, so in that position, every kind of sees Chris and he gets to here, right? So now what I want you to do is, at the bottom, I want you to reach that bar forward and then pull back and come up, okay? So we start to increase that range of motion. Not every set has to be like this. So he's done this, he's experienced, right? So he's trying to keep tension here. He kind of shoved those shoulder blades forward, now shove them back and pull. Notice this stays the same the whole time. That's what we're aiming for. Because we're trying to create some stability here and that's gonna actually train us that spine to be a little bit more functional. So, here's what we're gonna do. 